Hello everyone, I am Janine Davis of James Davis and Associates. I believe everyone can succeed and be happy with the right encouragement, inspiration, and motivation. I'm here to provide some of that with today's confidence tip of the day. That tip is, sometimes it's okay to leave people behind. Seriously, you don't have to take everyone with you on every journey. This is an idea I saw on Facebook. The person said, you have to meet people where they are, and sometimes you have to leave them. And that is so very true. When you meet people, when you're dealing with people, it doesn't mean literally meet. It means when you encounter people, when you're dealing with people, you have to accept them as they are. If they're tall, if they're short, if they're thin, if they're fat, intelligent, not intelligent, sweet, mean, whatever they are, you have to meet people where they are. You have to understand that this is the way that person is, period. It's not your job to want them to be something else. It's not your job to try and make them be something else. You have to accept people for who they are. They change themselves. It's not up to you to change them. At the same time, it is so important to realize that just because you meet someone, they're a mean person, they're a horrible person, you don't have to keep hanging with them. You can leave them where you found them. Seriously, think about it. How often have you met someone at work? You met this coworker first day on the job and they were rude, they were mean, and you said, okay, this is my coworker, we have to work together, I'm gonna try and befriend this person. And you did, you tried and you tried and you tried to befriend that person, but they were a horrible person. Everything that you did friendly did not work out. Leave that person alone. That is such an important lesson for us all to realize. Sometimes you need to leave people alone. It can be your friends, it can be family members, people at work, people at church, people at school. Accept people for who they are. And then if that does not line up with who you want to be, who you want as a friend, if that person is not the kind of person that feeds your soul, that makes you feel good about yourself, leave them alone. You meet them where they are. Hey, how are you? I'm a mean, nasty person. Okay, good for you. Bye-bye. Leave them alone. If, that, if we learn that simple lesson, many of our lives would be so much better. But we don't learn that lesson because we keep trying to influence that person. We keep trying to get our father-in-laws to like us, even though they told us when they met us, I can't stand you. We keep trying to get supervisors or coworkers to be friends with us outside of work. When they told us, I keep work and personal separate, but we keep inviting them to things and getting mad when they don't show up. We keep offering them opportunities that they turn down. The person told you when you met them where they were that they were not interested, but you kept bothering them. Learn to leave people alone. I see this so much in coworker situations and family situations. And it's something that, we, it's hard, it's not easy, but we have to see where people are, see who they are, and then leave them alone if who they are does not line up with who we are and who we want to be. I am by nature, I'm a church girl, I'm a silly person, I like to knit, I like to read. If you hate knitters, we're not gonna be friends, we're not going to interact. I'm not gonna spend my time extolling the virtues of knitting and how wonderful the cable stitch is. My favorite cable stitch, to be honest with you though, is twist two, right twist over left. But that's a separate story. Listen, whatever the situation is, you meet people where they are, you see who they are, they let you know who they are, do like Maya Angelou said, believe them. When they tell you who they are, believe them. And they have a right to be who they are. You don't have a right to try and make them something different. And that's where we get confused. Because we meet someone, we think that they're a horrible person, and we want to change them. No. Boost your confidence with the knowledge that it's okay to meet people where they are and to leave them there. We don't have to take everyone with us on every journey we go on. We don't have to take everyone we meet with us throughout our lives. We can leave people where they are. And that's my confidence tip for today. Boost your knowledge with the confidence. Boost your confidence with the knowledge that it's okay to meet people where they are and leave them there. Seriously.
Now, if you want more tips, tricks, and ideas on how to create confidence in your world, head on over to JanineSWorld.com. Click on that Creating Confidence tab. You'll find videos. You'll find books, calendars, all kinds of articles and ideas to help you create the confidence you need to succeed. Okay? And I'll see you next time with another confidence tip of the day. Bye, everybody.